All right, y'all, are you ready? It's time to clock in and get back to work. This playthrough series will feature how we got through the world's toughest challenge run in The Last of Us. This particular run is the grand finale of our original challenge series, featuring a number of restrictions. And here's how it works. Number one, no med kits. We are not allowed to use any med kits. That's right, no healing. If we take damage in the middle of an encounter, too bad. We cannot use a med kit to bail us out. Number two, no shiv doors. We cannot enter any of the special shiv doors to collect items inside, which is a bummer because there are tons of goodies in there that could help us out. Number three, no skill upgrades, which means we cannot improve our crafting speed or weapon sway, so picking up any pills along the way will be completely useless. Number four is a big one. No guns. We cannot use any guns during this run. Any weapon that has a trigger involved is out. We've got to figure out another way to dispatch our enemies. Number five is crazy. Kill all enemies. Completely clear all possible enemies in each area before moving on. That is a very tall order. Number six is a game changer, grounded difficulty. We are going to play this challenge on the hardest difficulty there is. Yes, sir. We will be playing on grounded mode, where if you get hit just two times, you're dead. Oh, and finally, number seven, no deaths. We're gonna complete this entire run without dying. Is this even possible? You will have to watch the entire run to find out. Woo! Okay, now you know why we are calling this the world's toughest challenge. So we know what we can't do. Here is what we can do. We can use bricks and bottles. We can use melee weapons. We can use the trusty bow and arrow. We can also use any of the bombs, the nail bomb, Molotovs, smoke bombs. We can also pick up the occasional snack bars laying around along the way to help us heal. You think you got all that? All right, now let's get back to work. It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. Oh, fancy. Yeah, but didn't you just say you would still do it at some point if you don't get it? Yeah, I will. I'll do it like, you know, every couple of weeks or every, once a month. Whenever we want to do, uh, whenever we want a change in a run, whenever I feel like it. So yeah, it, it won't remain uncompleted. He should change that to, we will do, we will have random attempts. From here, we will just have attempts that are random or something like that. I mean, I'm always focused down under. I mean, I'm always focused, trust me. But yeah, I could be a slightly more focused <laughs> point go. <goal. laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> And Poyo just comes in and just. <laughs> well, it's a well. We've been working on this like constantly. Like this has been our main focus for this particular challenge, which is eight of eight for a couple of months now. The reason why we set a deadline spike is because if we don't, I'll keep working on it and working on it and working on it and working, you know what I mean? I'll just keep doing it and we'll never move on. 
I mean, we've got to move on. We've been on it for a while now. We're late. Yeah, we're behind here. No, it's cool. I want to know how you died, dude. I didn't have to go in here first. Yep, we got full health. All right, let's go back. What's the furthest you have got? Good. We want a ton of. We want everybody to be working on it. Like a ton of people to be working on it. I mean, that's this is fantastic. This is exactly why we made that challenge page, and this is perfect because we're proving my boy Uranto wrong. The people will do the runs, that people like to do the runs, and uh, it will happen. So that's what we're doing. No, it's not. No, it's not. I, I, I tried to tell them that, that these challenges that we're doing, they're not easy at all. The only easy one is easy deathless. That one is pretty much All right. these rooms. pretty much easy, but you have to do that very fast. So that's going to be very similar to a speed run. So that's what will make it even harder. I mean, they all have their challenges. And you're absolutely right, Poigo. That one is not easy. That's, uh, now you know what I've been working on for a while. I'm doing that same one on Grounded right now. Now you get a, a sense of what we've been working on for a while, which I know you know, but now that you're doing it yourself, you know, you get a better sense of it. I need to post a time first so I have the record because I don't have time to optimize it. Well, uh, that's that's fine, but it sounds a little fleeting. It that sounds a little fleeting down under. Hotel is clear. Very nice. Very, very nice. No, I don't have platinum bats because I don't play any of the factions. I think there's a handful of factions ones. Thought you would opt for what is the furthest away from challenge eight p to then you choose challenge seven in a speed run. What do you mean? Goes. What do you mean down under? It's gonna be a tight fit, but come on. Just in case. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. I mean, second best is having it for a little while. Find me something to climb on. Okay, here we go. There we go. I mean, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're the only one that's stopping you from competing, you know. Just because we play it in stream doesn't mean you can't, you know, play it and practice on your own whenever you have time. You know, you get out of this game speedrun-wise what you put into it. Are you okay? 